86 percent of the patients, it's a persistence of the uh, membrane of membrane and the valve of asthma. And 19 percent of these patients resolved spontaneously or with conservative management. Uh, and but in a few patients, you do need uh, surgical intervention. So what are the options that we have? Uh, massage, she's already talked about. Uh, I talk about nasal ectomal duct probing, probing with the uh, intubation, uh, and ECR will be done with later on. Uh, massage, as uh, uh, Dr. Sabir has very nicely told you, it, it has to be applied properly to be effective. Uh, I, and you have to demonstrate it to the mother how to do it. And you ask the, uh, the, the mother to cut her nails if she's doing it with a finger or do it with a cotton bud if, uh, if possible. Uh, topical antibiotics are not very effective and uh, should be used only if the, there is conjunctivitis. Uh, you need to apply a firm massage to the lateral sac fossa, which is actually be between the, in this depression here. And you have to demonstrate it to the mother, otherwise she's not going to do it properly. And you need to start uh, applying the pressure from the top and, and, and apply it towards the nasal lacrimal duct inferiorly. Uh, in uh, uh, very young children, uh, uh, mostly the, this uh, massage is effective in, uh, in, uh, 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 by the age of, uh, of one year. So six months to uh, a year, you only apply massage. But if, but in certain situations, you need to uh, intervene early. Uh, what are these uh, uh, situations? One is if there is a recurrent severe infections uh, in, in, in the infant or if there is an amniotocele. The amniotocele uh, is, uh, you see is, is a very uh, large bluish swelling which is irreducible and that is because of the, the blockage with the valve of Rosenmuller at the uh, common canaliculus and blocked by, uh, by the acid. So the amnio amniotic fluid has got into the sac but is not coming out of uh, coming uh, out of uh, back from the canalicula and is also not passing uh, into the uh, nose. So in these situations you need to intervene early and do the probing early. Uh, or also if there is acute decrisis and a lacrimal sac abscess then you need to intervene early. So uh, I'll demonstrate you how to do a proper nasal lacrimal duct probing uh, and these are all the steps which I'll show you in the movie. Right. So once you uh, start you need to you need to hold to pull the, the eyelid laterally and dilate it very gently and I use the upper punctum for doing it because it has more uh, uh, a natural alignment with the nasal lacrimal duct. You use uh, the smallest uh, probe, which is uh, a, a double zero probe, and you just pass in the, you feel the hard stop, and then you pass it down the nasal lacrimal duct. And then you uh, pass another probe underneath the inferior terminate and see if the, with metal to metal touch, and you can see the movement of the, the probe there, so that you are sure that it is in, in the uh, inferior meatus. You don't need to uh, uh, irrigate uh, the uh, nasal lacrimal duct in all patients. Sorry. Another important uh, uh, procedure that you can do is uh, uh, in, in these patients, if you feel that there is a bony uh, obstruction at the end, then you can do a thin fracture of the inferior terminate. Now this infraction of the inferior terminate is very useful in, in patients who have a bony obstruction and then that is because the inferior terminate is, uh, is moved laterally and is blocking the, uh, the opening of the uh, in, uh, nasolacrimal duct. So what you do here is that you 